it's Gamer Aimer here. So today, I wanted to talk about some pretty cool video game items that I found through Facebook Marketplace, a local thrift store, and a Goodwill near me. So let's go ahead and check them out. So this first item here has been on my list for quite some time. Now if you recall in some of my other videos, I do have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle version of this pretty awesome toy chest. Now a lot of these were made back in the late 80s, early 90s, and these things are just so cool. It's very hard to find them in pristine condition. So anytime that you see them with all the pictures on all of the sides of this toy box, in pretty decent shape it's a pretty good idea to go ahead and pick them up so this one is the special super mario brothers slash legend of zelda one and this is pretty awesome as the second i saw it i actually saw this top image right here and i clicked on it i knew exactly what it was this has been on my radar for quite some time as the last one that i tried to actually get was on ebay so of course these things are pretty expensive to ship. Usually the bulk size of them, you're going to ship them anywhere between 50 or more dollars. And then they usually want at least 100 to 200 dollars for these. So I actually found this local and I got a great deal on it. I didn't pay anywhere near that amount. And this one had all of the images on it. So this top image is just so cool as it's a little bit older and it just has this pretty crazy feel to it. So of course you'll see some classic characters all over here. You have this big smile right there, another big smile. You have these pretty wacky looking faces on here. And then of course you'll notice that we do have the princess and she actually has brown hair here. And then of course Mario looks pretty crazy, pretty mean. He doesn't look like he does today. He doesn't have that Nintendo-ish feel to him here. So this is just pretty crazy. He is going to of course rescue her from this castle and then it relates all of these different characters here but it's just so cool to see and this definitely brings back a lot of memories right here and then of course you'll notice that we have this gold trim all along the edges here and it's made out of metal to go ahead and reinforce this wooden box so you just open it up and you'll see all of this wood in here so it's pretty durable and I actually like this one as opposed to my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one as this one has this hinge on it so it just opens and shut this one is definitely different because the other one that i have has two of these little brackets on it of course you have to unclamp both just lift them off and it's a little bit different so i like this one as it seems a lot more sturdy now they do actually make a couple different variants of this particular box and then the front here it says nintendo of course we have link right here and we have some of these background characters. We have Mario right there. And this is just so cool looking. And then we'll just flip it around. So this side is of course different than the others. This says Super Mario Brothers. We have Mario and Luigi. And of course we have some different variants on these outfits right there that they're wearing. So you can tell that this is pretty early on. And then of course we have this scene right here, another Legend of Zelda reference. So this is just really cool. This face alone looks really awesome. And then we have this last side where it actually says the Legend of Zelda. And of course we have Link with this sword, his shield, and this just looks really cool. So overall I was pretty happy that I found this one local as I didn't have to worry about shipping. And the last one that I tried to actually order on eBay the seller backed out, he said his house burnt down, and he tried to get me to use something different than PayPal. So it was this whole entire scam risk, and eBay actually had to contact him to reimburse the money. I would love to actually put a little bit of storage in here, as in the new game room, I'm quickly learning that a lot of the things I wanted to display just may not fit in this room, or the arcade, or the upstairs room. So I'm still playing around with that. So actually stay tuned for an updated game room tour as I'm trying to quickly get everything together and make it look presentable. And of course now this will be in the game room tour. And then of course,
course I went to some of my local Goodwill and thrift stores. So these I actually found at my Goodwill and the rest here I actually found at a pretty awesome thrift store. So of course anytime I go into Goodwill I usually don't find too many games. Usually it's all sports related games. Some of them you open up, they don't even have the disc, the manual, everything looks terrible shape. So I actually found a couple different items here. So PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and some PC games. So of course I had to add a couple of these to my collection as they were pretty inexpensive and actually sealed. So here we have Darksiders 2, limited edition. This is still sealed for the PC. And then we have this Ghost Pirate of Vuju Island. So I'm not really too sure about this, but it says something is brewing on Vuju Island. Three unsuspecting characters have fallen victim to a conspiracy contrived by the devious Queen Zimbi. The fate of the entire world lies in the hands of three involuntary heroes. And it looks like it has some pretty cool cartoonist characters in here. It says explore over 30 locations and get acquainted with the cast of salty characters as the story unfolds with swashbuckling thong and cheek twists and turns combine the abilities of the three hilarious characters and outsmart the pirates as you solve mind-boggling puzzles so this looked pretty interesting and just for a dollar it wasn't too bad of a deal and then of course i found this playstation 2 game we have thrillville off the rails now, I spent countless hours playing this game growing up, and anytime I find these pretty awesome theme park style games or sim related games, they're just so much fun, and this will definitely bring back some memories, as I know I put several hours into this game. So it says, play in the best theme park ever, yours. It says, new Crash Em, new Woe Coasters, number one original family game of 2006, over 30 mini games, and Socialize. So this is definitely pretty awesome the manual looked pretty mint in here it has all of the extras included in this booklet as well and the game was in fairly decent shape so i had to pick it up as this game will definitely be a lot of fun especially if i go back and play it over again then of course i added this assassin's creed for the xbox 360 and the elder scrolls oblivion game of the year edition so i didn't actually have either of these in my collection now I love the Assassin's Creed franchise and of course Elder Scrolls, so I had to add these as well. So next up I found this pretty awesome Donkey Kong item right here. So this, if you guys are not familiar with it, this is actually a vintage Donkey Kong bank. So this is a hard plastic, has a little coin slot on the top here of his head, and on the bottom it has this little push out where you could go ahead and get the money out and it's actually still intact so you just pull it back up and it actually covers up so it says open on it and then right here it says donkey kong nintendo 1981 so this is nintendo of america 1981 and this thing is just so cool this is definitely gonna look great in my little retro section little retro corner that i have going so of course I had to pick it up. It was just a few dollars. So anytime I see something that brings back a lot of memories and has this cool retro feel to it, I just had to add it to my collection. Now I know that they also make a little Qbert one as well. So I'm still on the lookout for that one, but this one is just so cool. And it's just a pretty neat looking little bank right there. And then lastly, we have this little lot right here. So, just a couple games. I walked into a new thrift store that's near me, and everything was over 50% off. So, of course, I walked in. Everyone in the little local store greeted me. They said everything's over 50% off. Go ahead, take a look, and see what you like. So, of course, I wander around the entire shop. I find tons of glassware and collectibles, clothing, shoes, food, just all kinds of different things in this little thrift store. And I found this glass right away. So of course we have this McDonald's glass. Now of course back in the day they had a lot of these cups at McDonald's. I have a whole Batman set of them. Well just one in the entire set from McDonald's. And then they have... This 
this Garfield one. So this one, as soon as I saw it, it just reminded me of watching these movies and everything growing up. So of course we have Garfield. It says, use your friends wisely. It shows him skateboarding. And of course he's being pulled by the dog. So it says Garfield characters, 1978 United Feature Syndicate. And it says McDonald's Incorporated. And of course it says Jim Davis on here. So this was really cool. So I just kept wandering around and looking for any of these video game items. So of course I found a couple of these original Xbox games and everything was marked $5 and then it was all half off on top of that. So of course I picked up this Platinum Hits version of Lego Star Wars the video game. So it says play episode 1, 2 and episode 3. So this was pretty neat as I know I did not have it in my collection. And then we have two other Xbox games. We have another Platinum Hits version of Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. Game of the Year in 2003 and Best Xbox Live Game. So this is pretty cool. It even has a little Blockbuster sticker on here. So that was a pretty awesome find. And I'm not sure I actually played this game. It says Dashing Heroes, Dangerous Dames, and Deadly Dog Fights. So this sounds pretty cool. And then of course this Max Payne Classic. Another Platinum Hits game. So this is definitely a pretty fun style game. And then the best part. So I saw this entire stack of Sega Genesis games. And of course I had to pick them up. They were just a couple dollars each and some of these games are definitely worth it. So I bought the entire lot, got a great deal on all of these. So just to start off, we have this classic Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It says Sonic and Tails team up. So this was a great steal right here. Comes with the manual and game and everything looks to be in pretty working condition. This is also the not for resale version. And then, of course, we have this Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. And, of course, this is a classic game. Smash into the next level. And, of course, it comes with all of everything as well. And then, right here, this game really stuck out in the lot. So, this is Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. Now, this game sells for quite a bit on eBay. So, definitely more than the 250 and this is pretty awesome style game it has a lot going on with it with this cartoon style it says two thumbs up to the knuckle it says dig it so this looks really cool and i'm shocked that i've never actually played it but i'm actually looking forward to trying this one out and then of course we got this copy of sonic the hedgehog 3. so of course another classic right here and then Echo, so we have the Tides of Time, so of course if you played on the Sega Genesis, you'll remember Echo the Dolphin and this Timeless Classic. And then another pretty fun game right here, we have T2 Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So this one looks like a pretty awesome style, shoot 'em up style game. It says your mission, save John Connor and prevent Judgment Day. It's mission, just the opposite. You're armed with a head-up, display, sawed-off shotgun, military-issue machine gun, and blazing minigun. It is virtually indestructible, can morph into almost any shape, and has never failed before. You, you don't have a shot, do you? Hasta la vista, baby. So this is definitely a pretty fun game, and can't wait to relive my childhood and play this one over again. And then this game right here, this is a classic style wrestling game. This is WWF Royal Rumble. And this says, six in the ring mayhem, each superstar's trademark move, choke holds, chair slams, and more. So I remember playing all of these wrestling games growing up. Played them against all my family members. And this game just was so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to playing it against some of my friends today and seeing how they hold up. And then another classic, we have this Beavis and Butthead. And this is of course from MTV. So it says MTV, music television, 
for the Sega Genesis. Now, I don't remember playing this game, but I remember Beavis and Butthead, so I had to score it as well. And this one right here, everyone loved The Lion King growing up. It was a pretty challenging game. They even re-released it on the PlayStation 4, Xbox, and Switch. So, of course, they have that new two-pack where it has The Lion King and Aladdin. So, this will definitely bring back some memories, and I'll see if I can actually get past some of the parts that I never made it past growing up. So this is definitely pretty sweet. And I was loving this pickup. So I actually scored a couple loose games as well. So here we have this manual that goes with Miss Pac-Man. So unfortunately I didn't have a complete inbox copy. And then this right here, Quackshot, starring Donald Duck, another loose copy of the game. So overall, I definitely think I scored an amazing steal at this local thrift store. And then I asked if they had any other games that weren't out on the shelves. And I found this Final Fantasy game, $5, which half off is $2.50. So this is what pickups are made of. So I found this copy of Final Fantasy for the NES. And this is a complete in box copy. The box is in fairly good condition, just a couple little spots on it. And then if we open it up, I was actually shocked to find out that everything is actually in here. So in this copy of Final Fantasy, you should have the cart game. So here we have this very clean label. It hardly looks played. Everything looks in very good shape. And then we have this instruction manual, which has a little bit of creasing in it, just some bends from use of actually looking through this as it's a pretty thick manual, has a lot to discuss with this first game. And then we have the maps. So this is something that you always want to look for with this Final Fantasy game because there are two maps that are supposed to be included. So here we have this, it kind of shows you the different levels says Final Fantasy Dungeon Maps. And then on the back, it says some information about magic and armor. So this is just so cool. This next map is actually a little bit beat up. It has some tape trying to hold it together. So this one is pretty neat as it has a lot of valuable information on here. So it says Final Fantasy Game World Map. It has every location on here all around and it actually numbers it out on that overview and then the back here has all of the different characters so this is just so cool it has a lot of information about each one so this is definitely pretty sweet that i was able to score all of these items here for such an amazing deal some throwbacks some classics and just some pretty hard to find items So with a lot of people actually getting into this hobby and a lot of collectors and resellers out there, it's pretty difficult to find some amazing deals, especially local around this area, as there are tons of people out hunting. They're looking to just buy, flip, and there are some other collectors who are looking to grow their collections as well. So finding all of these items, I'm just still in shock so these were actually all found local. I didn't pay to ship any of these items. And I was actually able to haggle and make some really awesome deals on these items here. So I am just so thrilled to add all of these to my video game collection as they will look amazing in the game room. A lot of these games have been on my list for quite some time now. And a lot of these items I have been looking for some great deals and never seem to have found them just yet. So I am so thrilled with this whole pickup right here and there are still tons of places that you can find great deals. You just have to stay on top of it. Always check out those little local places, those little thrift stores, Goodwills, and sometimes you just get lucky. 
So of course, this Sega Genesis collection that I actually picked up is just amazing. All of these have the manuals, the sleeves, and everything included with the cartridge. And then of course, this Final Fantasy game was just a great deal on its own. Came with all of the bonus maps and everything. Of course, this cup, the bank, and this pretty awesome toy chest just added this pickup to be over the top. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.